All right, so this is a demonstration of a triple boot uh, MacBook Air. This is the 11 inch. This is the late 2010 MacBook Air. So right here, I don't know if you can see it. This is version 1067. The screen's kind of washed out. But uh, so here is OS 10 10.67. Snow Leopard, and then I'll go up here and I will restart it. Now hold down the Option key. I'll show you here. There's the Option key. So I'm holding down the Option key while I'm booting it, and now you can see I have a choice between Macintosh HD and Windows. <coughs> Excuse me. If I go to Windows, it'll actually give me a choice to boot between Windows 7 and Ubuntu. So we'll go to Windows 7 first. So here's Windows 7 using Boot Camp and using the drivers that you are forced to download when you uh, launch the Boot Camp uh, tool in OS 10. So here's a completely working Windows 7 install, complete with uh, Internet Explorer, which sucks horribly. There you go. All right, so now we're going to shut this down. I should have said restart, but hey, shut down will work. So we're going to shut it down. I have this set, so if I do nothing, it'll boot into OS 10. So I've got to hold down the Option key once again. This will get us into Ubuntu. Go to Windows. And then Ubuntu will be chosen from the Grub bootloader. And this is Ubuntu 11.04, I believe. The Natty Narwhal. Don't really know why it makes the screen purple, but it does. The hardest part on this actually was the Ubuntu load, um, getting the correct drivers to install. It actually uh, went pretty crazy for a while and I actually had to uh, try to install the restricted drivers with a really corrupted display. So that was the hardest part, but after I got it figured out, some Googling, uh, I got it figured out and it all works just fine. Now this only has a 60 gig SSD in it, so this is kind of more of a of a proof of concept than it is a really working system. Ubuntu's got 5 gig, uh, Windows has 15 gig, and OS 10 has 40 gig. Um, I do have a 256 gig SSD external drive, a USB external drive that I'll probably use for a data drive if the, if I actually make this a production machine and actually use this uh, daily. So um, there's a there's still some more work I have to do. If I shut down, uh, it doesn't really have the power management. Actually, I take that back. It's working now. <laughs> Yesterday when I shut it down, it just crashed. So uh, apparently the the drivers are now loaded. I don't know what all the drivers were that I got loaded, but uh, I'm still learning Ubuntu. I don't know much about it. Uh, and if I leave it, it goes right back into OS X. So this is possible. Basically what I did was I loaded a bootcamp partition using the bootcamp tool, loaded Windows 7, and then I actually went to the Ubuntu site. I'll show you here. Even though that camera doesn't really focus too well. But I went to the Ubuntu site. And on the Ubuntu site, there's a Windows installer. and I actually downloaded the Windows installer right in Windows and uh, it's a little wizard you just answer a couple of questions so you go get Ubuntu and then you run it with Windows and this is the easiest so it downloads a little tool you uh, it's called the Wubi guide or WUBI -B -W so Windows Ubuntu 
installer, I would assume is what it stands for. But it just installs it and it downloads the software and you just say, you know, how much uh, size of a disk space you want to give it and then it does its thing. And in about 20 minutes it actually installs it on Windows. So it's really simple. It's not like I did a bunch of tricks here. Like I said, the hardest part was uh, the graphics uh, drivers were corrupt out of the box. So the only way I could get them to, uh, to be fixed was I actually had to log in with the, the corrupted graphics and it actually looks like uh, the monitor is going bad or something. It flickers really bad and it's, it's got lines through it and everything else. So uh, I finally figured out how to install the restricted drivers. I installed those. It crashed a couple times. I finally rebooted a couple times and it, and it finally came back up. So it's not without its faults, but it's really actually simple to do. Um, my next step might be to uh, load OS 10.7. I have a developer build. Um, so I'd like to do a quad boot, maybe 10.7, 10.6, Ubuntu, and uh, Windows. My earlier tests, though, uh, the Lion, the 10.7 installer, kind of messes with the partitions. So I'm, I'm kind of apprehensive right now to do it because I'm afraid it's going to wipe out the other partitions that I just built. So uh, that's, that's probably uh, something else to look at. But there you go. It's a triple boot. Uh, MacBook Air.